Hello everyone, the Skoda Kodiak RS is back, now with more power under the hood. It's equipped with a 262 horsepower 2 TSI engine paired with a 7-speed DSG and AWD. The RS trim adds unique styling cues, along with a dark-themed interior featuring red stitching. Skoda has detailed the entire lineup of the second-generation Kodiak, announcing the return of the sporty RS trim in all its aggressive glory. Branded as the VRS in the UK, thanks to Ford holding the rights to RS over there, this latest Kodiak RS is the most powerful version of Skoda's biggest SUV, delivering a punchy 262 horsepower with standard all-wheel drive. The Kodiak RS gets its own set of styling flourishes, inside and out. Up front, you'll find RS-specific bumper intakes flanking the grille, which itself wears an RS badge like a badge of honor. Standard 20-inch Elias wheels fill the arches, while dual stainless steel exhaust pipes peek out from the rear. As a final touch, Skoda's signature full-width reflector sits across the lower fascia, reminding everyone in your rear view that this isn't just another Kodiak. Glossy black accents on the bumpers, grille, mirror caps, window surrounds, D-pillar and Skoda lettering are borrowed from the lesser Kodiak sport line, as are the body-coloured side skirts. But on the RS, these elements come together with a sharper, more aggressive edge. The performance flagship of the Kodiak lineup is fitted with the turbocharged 2-liter TSI Evo 4-cylinder engine. The mill generates 262 horsepower, 195 kilowatts, and 400 newton meters of torque, representing an increase of 20 horsepower 15 kilowatts over its predecessor. Power is transmitted to all four wheels through a 7-speed DSG dual-clutch automatic transmission. This is the fastest Kodiak yet, sprinting from 0 to 100 kilowatts per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds, or 6.4 seconds for the slightly heavier 7-seater. And for those who frequent the Autobahn, the RS tops out at a respectable 231 kilowatts per hour, 144 miles per hour. The Skoda Kodiak RS comes standard with progressive steering, selectable driving modes, eco, comfort, normal, sport, individual, snow and off-road, as well as the DCC Plus suspension system with 15 different settings for the adaptive dampers. To spice things up, Skoda threw in a dynamic sound boost system, which claims to artificially enhance the engine tone. Step inside, and the RS badging continues to make itself known. Power adjustable sports seats with integrated headrests, an RS emblem on the steering wheel, stainless steel pedals, and a dark theme with red contrast stitching deliver a hint of sportiness. The standard Swedia artificial leather upholstery on the seats, dashboard, and door cards can be optionally traded for a combination of genuine perforated leather artificial leather. Tech wise, the SUV comes with dual 10 inch screens for the digital cockpit although a larger 13-inch infotainment display is available as an option. The standard equipment list is generous, including LED matrix headlights with animated graphics, acoustic glass, and a Canton sound system. Skoda hasn't dropped any hints on the price for the Kodiak RS yet, though it's safe to say it'll sit atop the lineup as the priciest model. Still, even fully loaded, it's expected to undercut the equivalent Volkswagen Tehran making it a more budget-friendly option in the performance SUV space. I would like to hear your opinion about new Skoda Kodiak RS, and I'll be waiting for it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel not to miss the latest news from the world of automobiles. See you soon. Goodbye, everyone.